Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. So today is another video of me painting my nails and answering some of your questions. A um, couple of you guys did ask me questions in my previous video asking me more about myself. Okay, there's only three of you guys, but I'm just gonna say there were several questions. So this color is 104, it's 104 by Etsy, it's called Muchy Muchy. And I actually already filed my nails previous to starting this video. Um, if you guys look at my nails, they are like a coffin slash square shape. I don't even know if this is coffin because coffin I know is like more narrow at the top, but my nails are pretty square. They are a little bit long, but I kind of like my nails to be long, especially in the fall and the winter. I don't know why. It's just something that I prefer. Just like a just weird thing that I do. Thing. So the first question I'm just going to be going over today is from V Things asked i really enjoy your videos thank you so much for watching my videos i don't know it just makes me happy to film for you guys also i feel like it distracts me from just like sad shit in my life wow that sounds so depressing i recently started watching your channel and i really love the chill vibes from your videos i do have a chill vibe but sometimes i i i cannot be chill i don't know for your next episode I would ask, which movie or cartoon character do you identify with? Who is your biggest influence and why? And are you neat or a messy person? Okay, so I'm gonna use the Sally Hansen face and top coat. I already did my left hand, so I'm gonna do my right hand while I answer the first part of the question. Which movie or cartoon character? Okay, that's like really broad because I watch a lot of shows, movies. I'm always watching stuff. I feel like there isn't like a particular character that stands out to me where I'm like, wow, this person is me. But a lot of people say, I remind them of Shigo. I know she's like a villain, so I'm like, why, why? Because I am not a villain. Let me ask my boyfriend actually. Landon. Okay, which movie or cartoon character do, you, do I identify with? Yeah. April Lucky. Oh, I get that a lot too. A lot of people do say I have the personality of April from Parks and Rec. I don't really see that. I never really watched that show consistently, so I would only see a couple episodes of her. And I feel like she's very dry humor and like dark humored. So I don't really see that because I think I'm pretty bubbly as a person. Like after you get to know me, I talk a lot um, once I get comfortable with you, but I don't know any character that really identifies with me, but I did love Adventure Time. I loved Bimo. I was obsessed with Bimo for like the longest time in high school. I remember that. I just really liked his personality. I don't know, I guess April then in Shigo. Those are like- Aren't they villains? Or aren't they like negative characters? Okay, whatever. The next part of the question was, who is your biggest influence and why? My biggest influence? God. Yeah, I know. I don't know who my biggest influence is. There are like definitely different people or platforms or whatever that I go to to get my influence, I guess. It's like the type of music that I listen to and like the people that I follow, the shows that I watch. I feel like I get influenced from everywhere. There isn't like one particular person that I'm like head over heels for. I haven't really found that one celebrity or a person or a thing yet so and are you a neat or a messy person i think i am on the track of becoming a neat person it's also because my boyfriend is super ocd about keeping our area super clean we live in a shared space and he definitely has taught me to be more neat and like aware of like putting things back right away instead of later. I wouldn't say I was ever really a messy person. I just had a lot of things that, that made it seem like it was messy, but I think I'm slowly living like a life that's more simple and more neat. Yeah, it's just shout out to my boyfriend. It's because of him I am becoming a neater person. So I would say now I'm a very neat person. No, I wouldn't say I'm very, but I'm just a neat person, period. So I'm just talking and I'm not really doing the nails portion. This is like the main portion of this video, which is the nails and my neighbor's dog won't stop barking. I don't even know if I wanna paint it pink. I just wanna do like a clear coat on my nails. Is that okay with you guys? 
Let me just do a quick coat. I just, I'm gonna do, so this is the base coat, this is the top coat. I'm just gonna go ahead and do like a top clear coat. Also, it's because I'm interviewing lately, so I don't wanna have like super crazy nails. But pink nails isn't even that crazy, but I'm just being so conscious. The other question that I got was from, from Dane that says, love your videos, thank you so much. Especially the sit down talking ones like the nail time one. I was wondering if you could talk more about your career journey and job search if you feel comfortable. Or I don't know even how to start this. Okay, cause like I get super self-conscious about talking about like my career journey or like the job search how that's going and like where i am in my life because i don't want too much information out there on the internet uh, while i am job searching also just for privacy reasons and things like that but i could tell you guys a little bit more about my career journey it's been a year since i started my post college life and it, i think i definitely learned a lot like looking back from the day i graduated till now i feel like i've grown so much just because of the work experience I've been through and um, just doing adult shit, like pretty much. Where I started my career journey, like I started as pretty much like an analyst role at Walmart e-commerce up in the Bay Area. And then I transitioned into recruiting. I feel like I'm interviewing. I literally say this in my interviews. Started working at Google as a recruiting coordinator and then I transitioned into Uber up until the COVID-19 layoffs. And so since then I've been searching for new opportunities, but also I think like in the beginning, I valued so much of just like having a career or like having my, like creating that journey for myself, I'm caught up in that a lot. And I do really get stressed out because like, I think when you've had a job for many, many years, because previous to working after college, like, or previous to like working actually in the adult life, which is like after college, I've always been working since I was like 15 and a half, constantly had a job, like since I was 15, like literally every single year, I would hold like one job or two jobs. I would literally hold it down, not only because I needed the money, because I loved working with different people and meeting new people. And that's how I met my friends and like what I like. Yeah, like I am currently still in the job market. I realized like there are so many other opportunities and experiences that you should go through. I know it's like really stressful in the moment and it has been really stressful for me, but um, I, I realize I'm just opening up doors, right? With like doing YouTube and then like also trying out fashion and then at the same time, like actually trying to find a job in corporate. And I could do like a video about my experience in corporate and like the crazy shit that happens in corporate and like what you experience. And I am in such a transitional period of my life. Like I don't want to be too, like I don't want to say too much. Maybe down the line I will, but thank you, Diane, for asking me those questions um but yeah that's just a little bit more so that is it for this video if you guys have any questions that you want to ask me please comment them down below and i'll answer them directly or on another video i know i painted my nails like clear which is like the most boring color that you can ever think of it's not really a color it's just transparent but i just wanted to keep my nails clear but i also did want to talk to you guys um my next video will definitely be like a fashion video because i want to pop out more before i move out of this place i am leaving my apartment which i'm really sad about but i'm gonna be leaving in the next week and a half and i'm gonna be moving down to southern california where my family is and so that's a big change for me i wanted to let you guys know before you guys watch it and be like what the hell but please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. I hope you guys stay safe. And until the next video, keep your masks on. Keep six feet away from people. Um, go vote. Anyway, goodbye.